welcome back my peeps i got another tutorial for you um not sure how many um patriotic tutorials i'm gonna do probably not too many if i do really any at all but i've been wanting to make a pie so i got a pie for y'all today it's one of these it's a mini pie i'm making it in this a pie tin from Dollar Tree. It's called a metal bottle cap. Um, it's galvanized metal. I'm gonna, I'm gonna take the hanger part off because we're not gonna need that. I'm gonna put it to the side. And so I have a little piece of um. Play I got from Playco 3 and uh, I'm gonna put just around this edge so we can have a crust I'm gonna put some there All right, so you just need to take some you can use any air dry clay that you have like I said, this is the one from Play Code 3. So if you have some of that, you can use that. So you're just going to roll it. You just want to roll it long enough so that it goes around the edge. We're not going to put any on the bottom because we don't want to waste our clay. Nobody's going to see that part. So there's no point in, um, you know, wasting your clay. So just roll it out long enough to go around the tin. And then we're going to paint it. Well, we're going to dry brush some color on it. Because, you know, if you paint it, like straight up paint it, it takes away some of the effect of it looking um, like a baked pie. But I'm going to show you all what I'm talking about anyway. Let's see. Is it long enough to go around the tin? Almost. We almost there. So just roll it, roll it, roll it, roll it, roll it. All right, I think we should be good. I'm going to just roll a little extra. And I think we should be good. So you're just going to take it, put it in there around. Just go around, round, round, round. I'll fill it up. See, now I rolled a little bit too long. You see what I mean? But let's make sure that, because I see it's kind of, all right, so now you're going to take it and you're just going to press it against the edge. You want it to come up against this. So just press it into the pie pan. I call it a pie pan. As soon as when I first saw it, that's the first thing that came to my head. I've been wanting to make a pie, but I never sat down to actually do it. But this is going to be a patriotic pie <laughs> a patriotic what custard pie or patriotic cream pie because i'm gonna put some spackling on it to make it look like cream but we will get to that part soon so then right just want to make sure you cover the just enough don't go over the top you just want it to fit into the grooves and stuff come down and bring it down a little bit you know flatten it down a little bit you don't need to do the insides because nobody's gonna see that part so what I did I took a skewer and I kind of kind of defined these spots like right here I went like that in each in between each one you don't have to do that if you don't want to, but that's what I did. So that's what I'm going to do with y'all. Because you can't really make, um, you know, one of those pie edges on here. You can, but I'm not trying to do that. So basically, this is just a fake 
<laughs> way to make my edge. I'm cheating. But this is it. Okay. And then I'm going to go over it to soften the edge, you know, to soften the um the line a little bit so it won't be so. So I'm just going to go over it like with my hands and just you know, make it so it's not so the lines are not so pronounced. Okay. There you go. There's your crust, right? Now, I would Technically, I would let this dry a little bit before I put the paint on. But, you know, because we're doing this video, I'm just going to go for it. So, we're going to dry brush some paint on. I'm starting with Classic Caramel, Apple Barrel Classic Caramel. I'm just going to put a little drop right here. You don't need a lot. That's probably too much. And I'm going to take my brush. And I'm going to take most of the paint off. I don't want it to be too much paint. And then I'm going to just like go around the crust. Just to make it look, you know, baked. You don't want to cover the whole thing. Like you don't want to use a paintbrush and go in there and cover the whole Cause then it's gonna take away from it. It's gonna fill in every crack and crevice and it's not gonna give it like a baked look, you know? See how it's already starting to look baked? And then I'm gonna go over a little bit of the, uh, of the edge a little bit with um, a little bit darker brown, just on the top so it looks baked. get the top part because you know that definitely has to look baked because that's the part that get baked sometimes they get burnt when you make a pie right so then I'm gonna get a drop of nutmeg brown just a tiny drop you don't need a lot because I'm not putting a lot and you just dab it I mean make sure you take off most of the paint I'm just gonna go over the top to give it that brown baked look. You don't need you don't need a lot. You just want the top to look a little more brown than the bottom, you know? Cuz the top of the pie is always looking more burnt than anything. Well, guys, I've got to plug in my glue gun. That hasn't happened in a while, but it has right now. Cause I'm not gonna fill the whole pie up because I don't wanna waste uh too much of our product. It's not necessary. So what I did, I cut out a foam piece, right? I'm gonna show you right now. I got a piece of foam board I cut off um, one of the Dollar Tree foam boards I just cut a circle out and I'm gonna put it in there like this I mean I know that is not taking up a lot of but it's taking up some of the area that so I don't have to um fill it up with spackle right so Hold on, because I need to move some stuff around here. And I'm going to show you the spackle I made. It's not all white. So what I did was I took some of my um, 
you know, the uh, fake spackle. And it was white, but I added a little bit, just the tiniest bit of an antique white. Just a tiny bit. So I could get like a creamy color. I didn't want it to be too creamy. You know, like too dark. Or uh, not too dark, but you know, not too intense. So I just put like a little drop. Give it some color. I didn't want it to be like white, even though, you know, it's a patriotic pie. And I should have left it white. And you could leave it white if you want to. But I um chose to paint it a little bit. So what you're going to need for this pie are some blueberries and some banana slices and some strawberry slices if I could get them that's gonna be our red white and blue for our pie so you could get these you could get blueberries apple slices and these strawberry slices from play code three that's where I got mines and um underneath this video um click on see more and I have a uh, a discount code you can use on play code three I mean if you spend twenty dollars or more you get fifteen percent off if you spend thirty five dollars or more you get fifteen percent off plus free shipping and when you go on that site you could get crazy over there I get crazy all the time they be having such cute fake foods and treats and candies and something I get crazy when I go there I gotta like Put myself on a budget real fast because if not mm -mm, i'll be in trouble so i'm waiting for the glue gun to um heat up so i could uh glue my foam piece down i need a little container well you know what i'm gonna use this for now put my blueberries on there on a little tart i might use that tart i might fill that tart up let me see is it ready yet? Not quite. So, I made this little mini tart with a plastic silicone mold, which I don't have here, that I got from, where did I get it from? I don't remember where I got it from, but look, you can make your mini blueberry pie. You can make... Hold on, let me take these out of here. You can make your little, I didn't put any cream in there, but you can make strawberry mini tarts if you have a mini tart. You can make banana tarts with these cute little banana slices. Like, there's so many options. And, and Play Code 3 has other fruit um, that I don't have right now, but. They do have other treats. And you should check them out. Come on, glue gun. Oh, that. Woo. See, I knew it. I knew you was listening. You don't need that much glue anyway. Stick this in there. Right? And you let that dry. Remember, it's metal, so you gotta hold it down for a minute. And then I'm gonna put this one to the side and we're gonna have that right so I'm gonna put the spackling in there oops should I have put it in there with a um hmm hold on hold on cuz I'm going to need to something like an offset spatula type thing to help me spread this. Let me see this one. Nope. Nope. Dollar Tree. I got this from Dollar Tree. So we'll see. Yeah, I'm gonna put some in. I don't want it to get on the crust. Okay. So I'm just going to put some in there. And then I'm going to spread it around. But I'm going to start with a little first because I don't want to put too much in there and it fills up the you know the crust part 
because that's not what I want. I want to be able to see the crust, you know. So you just spread it around. Make sure you cover up all the glue gun. I mean glue stick. You know what I'm saying. All the glue. Because on this one, I put glue around the edges. I don't even know if that was necessary, but that's just me. Don't that look good? Look at this pie. It's coming along. Just make sure you get it to the edge. Make it look nice. If you have to take some of the spack spackle out because you put too much, then take some out. But I think that's good. But I'm gonna use I'm gonna try to use this. See if I can smooth it out a little bit. I don't want it too smooth, but you know. I'm trying to get it to the edge. I think I do need to take some out because it has a lot in the middle. And so I'm gonna just take some of it out. Spread it around. Spread it around. Okay. Now I'm gonna leave it alone because I don't want I need to fix this edge right here though. Where's my craft stick? Because this area right here is a little it's not flat. It's acting up. I want to make sure I got like a smooth edge going around. I don't want anything to be able to be seen. All right, so I'm gonna leave it like this. Right? Should I do it like this? No, like this. Let me close my spackle up. I think that's all I'm gonna need for right now. Don't want it to dry out. Hold on. Okay. So, now it's time to put our fruit on. So, I'm going to start with the blueberries because I'm going to make like, uh, you know, the blue part where the stars are on the flag. I'm going to try to do that. So, we're going to start with that. And I'm going to do one, two. Then I'm going to do one two then three right then i'm gonna do one I like this i don't like this blueberry but three wait two <laughs> three and then four right and then i'm missing the blueberry Well, I got my blueberries right there. And then I'm going to do one, two, three, four again. Just to make, you know, that part of the flag. Let me grab another blueberry real quick. Because I don't know what happened to my other blueberry. I did count them out. But, you know, that's how it goes. All right, so I got another blueberry, right? There you go. And then we're going to start putting strawberries. One, two, and we're going to put banana slices. One, two, three. And then again with the strawberries, I'm going to start this line over here. Yeah, I should have moved the bananas down a little bit. And then, I'm going to go in with some bananas. And that's going to be our pie. That's it. That's your pie. Isn't it cute? I love it. 
your patriotic cream pie. Just make sure you got all the pieces down so they stick to the spackle. They don't act all crazy and start moving around or falling off. If you want, I'm going to add a little bit of, just a little touch of glitter on mine. So you don't have to if you don't want to. So, you know, everything looks better with glitter. <laughs> okay. So, guys, that's going to be it. Something so simple. Or you can make a pie. I could have made a little pie with this one, too. But since I don't have the mold to show you guys, I'm not, you know, I'm not going to go there. Because it it's not fun if you can't get the mold. I remember where I got that mold. But I love the little pie. It's so cute. What? So, guys, here is your cute little patriotic. I call it a patriotic because it's supposed to be red, white, and blue. Even though it's technically not. There ain't no white in here, but y'all know what I'm trying to do. I hope y'all like this. I hope you guys make one. And until the next video, stay safe, stay healthy, keep crafting. I will talk to you guys real soon. Bye.